Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where we make top 10 lists out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 is Father Gavin, and Father Gavin is a human male located in the Misty Pine Refuge in the Dwarven Starting Zone Dunmoreau, and he's affiliated with the Argent Dawn. Now, I'm specifically talking about the uh, classic WoW version of Father Gavin, because he is in the modern version, but he now has Kellen and Lowen Featherbreeze talking to him, uh, and I guess that gives him a little more of a point. However, I think he's still kind of pointless in that, but he was really pointless back in Classic WoW, where he just stood at his table as a mustached man in the Argent Dawn, and that was it. He had a house, he has his table, he's like praying or reading or something, and somebody said he could be a reference to an old historian or something. He also has a picture of a scantily clad woman in his room. Um, but aside from that, he just has a bunch of dwarven stuff in his house. Like, you would just assume this is just a dwarf house. So, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if this is his house, but I guess it is. Because uh, he's standing outside of it. But either way, Father Gavin could be removed from the game. And I doubt many people would care. Which means he's pretty pointless. And that's why he's number 10. 9! Number 9 is T'Challi the Witch Doctor, and T'Challi is a jungle troll ghost located in Blood Mall Ravine in the Blades Edge Mountains. And this is kind of a weird quest, so you meet T'Challi and it's his ghost, and he's just like, yo man, I wanted to help the ogres brew some beer, and then they pretty much got his recipe, and buried him, and stole his hookah, and then he died, so... It sucks, like, he just wanted to help the ogres get drunk, man, and then they, they screwed him over. So the whole quest line is you getting revenge on the ogres and then he's like, yo, thanks a lot. You go get some loot from his grave. It's a really weird quest, <laughs> uh, but I love these types of quests. These are the types of quests that add a lot of flavor to the world. You know what I mean? It's not just some main storyline quest where it's like, go do this thing, right? It's just some troll. It's like, yo, <laughs> I wanted to help these guys brew beer and they buried me and I died. This sucks. Let's go get some revenge on him. Another fun fact is his apprentices seem to sell beer in his memory at the T'Challi's Voodoo Brewery at Brewfest. So that's pretty cool. But listen, at the end of the day, this guy's pretty pointless. And that's why he's number nine. Eight. Number eight is Watcher Tallway. And Watcher Tallway is part of the crew of the Zephyr which is a zeppelin that goes from Orgrimmar to Thunderbluff. And this may shock and surprise you, but Watcher Tallway's job is to watch. So if you talk to Watcher Tallway, he's like, I be Tallway. Job be to keep the peace and watch. So I be watching. Uh, he has fantastic quotes such as, that cloud look like the war chief. There be a bird. There be a bug. Where the ship? A harpy. Wait, that be another bird. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. He just, he watches. He stands on the Zeppelin, he watches, he yells out what he sees, and honestly, it's fantastic. Like, just a little reminder, I'm not bashing any of these NPCs for saying that they're pointless, because as we know, inside pointless things are treasure, and this guy truly is a treasure. I mean, he really adds just a little bit of humor, a little bit of fun to that Zeppelin ride where you're like, oh man, this is just a slow Zeppelin ride to Thunder Bluff, it's taking forever, but now you can have Watcher Tallway, be like, yo, a bird, yo, a bird, yo, a bird. Wait, that's a harpy. Wait, another bird, a bird. <laughs> and uh, it's fantastic. And that's why Watcher Tallway is number eight. Seven. Number seven is Makazgar. And Makazgar is a troll found in the Dark Spear strain in Duratar in Classic WoW. He got removed in Cataclysm, so he's not even in the game anymore. And although he is named and hostile, he is not associated with any quests. That's right. He has no quests. He doesn't do anything, he just stands there, and that's it. <laughs> and people are like, what is his purpose? Is there anything? And somebody said his purpose is to gank level 6 to 8 tunes swimming to Senjin after collecting their gnomish tools who are not paying attention. Uh, that's really the best solution I could find. <laughs> there was another theory, somebody said maybe he's just an outcast troll, and that's why he's just out there just by the ocean being like, man, this sucks, you know? But I mean, aside from that, this guy really is pointless. Like, <laughs> he was so pointless, they just removed him from the game and everyone was like, yeah, I don't even know there's a guy there, right? So, uh, although, you know, there probably were a couple people that were like, yo, where'd he go, right? Like, it's one of those things where maybe every day you walk somewhere and you just see some random person you don't even know, and you're like, oh, there they are. And then one day you walk by and they're just not there. It's kind of like, what happened to him, right? You don't know anything about him, but you just know they were there every day and now they're gone. Except, at least, now we know why this guy's gone. It's because he had no point, so they just removed him. <laughs> uh, and that's why he's number seven. Six. 
Number six is Beast Caller Matalore, and Beast Caller Matalore is a troll located in Dazar Lore, and he's just playing fetch with his raptor Luna. And someone on Wowhead pretty much sums this up pretty well. They said, found him throwing a ball to his raptor pet Luna, patrols a small area in the Zaralor, followed him a bit, trying to get a screenshot of him throwing the ball, but he kept running around, which he really does keep running around. It's annoying to film this guy, all right? Uh, pauses from time to time and says, let's go, girl. He'll then break out into a run, having Luna chase after him. Other times, he'll point and say, are you ready? And he'll do the bow emote and Luna will sit, after which he will cheer and Luna throws her head back in a silent roar as if cheering too. And that's it. I mean, there's no point. He's got no quest. There's no, there's really nothing else. It's just a, a Xanilari troll playing fetch with his raptor pet. And again, that's fantastic. I love that it's adding some, some character, some fun elements to the city, right? You're like, oh, there he is. He's just playing fetch. But really, it's, it's very pointless. Like... <laughs> It's another thing where if it was removed, people would be like, oh, I didn't even I didn't even realize that. Or they realized it, but not enough to like know that he was gone. But I really love that. I love that in this big city, there's all this stuff going on. There's like war happening. There's like magic and combat and spells and profession. And this dude's just like, yeah, I'm just going to play. Uh, I'm just going to play fetch with my raptor pet. <laughs> and that's it. I think it's great. And that's why he's number six. Five. Number five is Krend the Pointless. Man, this guy is really pointless. What is this? It's it's a NPC that sits in a fishing boat that says, hello there. Uh, and you click, why are you here? And he says, just fishing for treasure. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Like, man, this, this might be the most pointless NPC in the game. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, I, I think a lot of people thought I was going to put my NPC at number one. Right? It, I mean, listen, this is this is a pointless NPC, but I didn't want to put it at number one because I felt like everybody's going to be like, oh, he's putting it at number one. Right. And I was like, you know what? I think there are some cooler, pointless NPCs in the game than my own. Now, I was like, it's going to make the list, <laughs> of course. But um, I mean, this was like, honestly, this was a shock when I got this in the game. Like I got a belt years ago in Pandaria and I was like, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the fact that I actually have an NPC and it's in Dragonflight instead of Shadowlands, oh man, like, can you imagine if my NPC was in the mall? I would never go see it, but now it's fantastic. I'm just chilling in the Azure Span, uh, on a small lake and I'm just fishing. What's better than this? <laughs> I made it, dude. But at the same time, extremely pointless NPC, but as we know, inside pointless things are treasure. And that's why... Friend the Pointless is number five. Four. Number four is Tiev Mordun. And Tiev Mordun was actually in one of my previous Pointless Top 10s. He was in Pointless Top 10 NPCs in the middle of nowhere. Because he truly is in the middle of nowhere. He's in the west of the Sepulchre. Uh, on the ocean side of the Eastern Kingdoms. And he used to be a part of the Shaman Quest. Uh, Call of Water. But now he literally just isn't anything. They removed that quest after Cataclysm, I believe, or uh, they they removed it at some point. It used to be in Classic WoW, but it is no longer, and so he's just there. <laughs> uh, he does have a very small purpose now, however. Apparently, if you don't speak to the minor manifestation of water before it despawns, bring him a water sapta, and he'll bring it back so you can talk to it. So his whole purpose now is to bring back a water manifestation if you missed talking to it. Cool. <laughs> uh, I haven't actually seen that happen, so I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess that's what this person said. So, you know, he's not completely pointless, but man, that's pretty pointless. Like, you used to be a part of this really cool big shaman water totem quest, and now it's just like, oh, hey, I forgot to talk to this guy. Can you bring him back? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can, and that's it, right? Like, you could you could really live without this guy, but I decided to put him pretty high up on the list because he has been on a previous pointless top 10. He is pretty pointless, and, you know, I, I really do think he's definitely one of the NPCs where if you removed him, nobody would care. So that's why he's number four. Three. Number three is Topper McNabb, and Topper McNabb is a human beggar and former farmer located in the trade district of Stormwind City. 
He can also be found on the Dark Moon Island at the pier on the southernmost point of the island begging for coins. In Legion, when the Uncrowned and the Veiled Hand infiltrated the city and caused lockdown, McNabb was seen sleeping in the auction house. And then in BFA, in the vision of Stormwind, Topper is transformed into a rat, and once he is killed, he reverts back to his human form. The talking cat, Tittles, will then begin eating the corpse. So I always just assumed Topper McNabb was pretty pointless, right? He's just walking around Stormwind, he's begging for money, he says, Help a poor bloke out, could you spare some coins? Shine your armor for a copper, better get a move on, kid, that coffee's not gonna get any hotter. He actually has a reference to Wimpy from Popeye, where he says, I'll gladly pay you on Tuesday for a hamburger today. But the thing that kind of blew my mind that I never knew is that Topper McNabb actually has a backstory. So in Warcraft 3... A common tactic when playing humans to prevent the enemy from easily destroying defensive towers was to place farms in front of them so that the enemy melee units would have to destroy the farms to get to that tower. And Topper McNabb says, It's all their fault, stupid Alliance army just had to build their towers right behind my farm. And then he also says, Stupid orcs had to burn my farm to the ground. So Topper McNabb actually had his farmland and house and everything destroyed back in Warcraft 3, and that's why he's here in Stormwind. And that just, that kind of blew my mind lore-wise. I was like, dude, I did not know any of this. And so, just because of that, and because of how prevalent Topper McNabb is, I was like, I gotta put this high up on the list. And that's why Topper McNabb is number three. Two! Number two is the Ancient King, and the Ancient King is located on the ocean floor south of the Broken Shore. His purpose is currently unknown, and he is located under the death line, as such reaching him is impossible. So, can't really get any close-up shots here, but it is actually kind of weird. I did not know about this at all. Someone tweeted this to me, so thank you very much for letting me know this existed. But these are really the types of things that I love. Just weird things out in the wild, right? Like, there's this guy called the Ancient King, just trapped out in the fatigued ocean in the ground. And that's it. There's so many questions to be had here. Like, did the developers accidentally do this and then leave them there? Is this some weird reference to something? Is this an inside joke? Is Like, there, there's so many questions. And we don't know it. Maybe we will one day. I mean, this guy could be the savior of Azeroth. And, I mean, like, for all we know, this guy could be the strongest being in the world... But he's just stuck in a mountain. But I guess if he was the strongest being in the world, he wouldn't be stuck in a mountain, right? <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. It's To me, it's either it's one or the other. It's either he's extremely important or he's not important at all. But one thing's for sure, and that's that this guy's pretty pointless. Because if he got removed from the game today, I don't think anyone would care or notice. Because they probably haven't noticed already. So that's why the Ancient King is number two. One. And number one is Windle Sparkshine. And Windle Sparkshine is a gnome who stands outside the Silver Enclave in Dalaran, and every day at 9 p.m. server time, Windle walks around and lights the street lights of Dalaran with his wand. According to Wowpedia, he enjoys his job so much that he sells Windle's lighter so that others can experience the same joy. In World of Warcraft Legion, an image of his daughter Kindy Sparkshine appears on top of the lights in memorial to her death at Theramor. So this is one of those things where somebody was like, oh, you should, uh, you should check out the gnome that just lights lamps in Dalaran. He's pretty pointless. And I was like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty pointless. And I looked into it and I was like, dude, this is... <laughs> This is actually sad. Like, it's almost like a memorial. Like, he lights the lamps as a memorial to his daughter that died in the Theramore bombing. Like, that shit's crazy. And so in the Legion Dalaran, I think your wand doesn't actually work anymore. I guess that was in Wrath of the Lich King when you could buy the wand and use it. And so you say, Wendell, why doesn't my wand work on the lamppost anymore? And he says... Oh yes, terribly sorry about that. I like to light the lamppost myself, you see. It helps me. Let's leave it at that, please. And I mean, that is really sad, right? Like, this is the way he copes. Like, he copes with the death of his daughter by just lighting these lamps every night. And so, to me, this truly had to be number one because this really is the embodiment of inside pointless things or treasure. You know, you see this gnome. He's walking around lighting these lamp posts. You're like, why is this guy even lighting these lamps, right? Like, it's just, just turn them on. It's just the game, right? But then you read into it and you learn his story and you're like, damn, dude, light those lamps. So head over to Dalaran at 9 p.m. and see him light some streetlights because it's pretty cool. And that's why Wendell Sparkshine is number one.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, you can check out patreon.com slash Krendel, or you can become a channel member and get access to a Q&A every month. Also, you can check out some other Pointless Top 10s. We had temples, we had squirrels, we had weirdest NPCs. Check them all out. Okay? Okay. See ya.